Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of your Angular. So today we are going to learn how to log in with Google with Firebase in Angular. So here you can see that we have created a button login with Google. When I click on this login with Google, <coughs> here you can see that <coughs> we have to log in with any of the details. So I have logged in, right? And you can see that I don't let's logged in with uh, this account okay so I'm logged in with my account right so how we are going to do that we have a logout functionality also the login all of the details of mine are this this is my first name and the last name this is my email this is a user ID right from the uh, from your firebase if I go and check my users list so here we have the belt then we have the users section authentication where is users this is the users right currently I'm logged in with this one right now right so you can you can see that the user ID is one SY and here we have one SY right user ID email and the email verified through so how we are going to do this how we are going to learn how we are going to check how we are going to do that part like how to log in with Google in angular so let's see how we are going to do that so those who haven't subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video please do like share and comment on my video so let's get started so here we have the functionality of full fledged right so here we have environment.ts files where we have to write all the function all the firebase api key or domain project id storage bucket that should be the configuration of the firebase in your environment.ts right then we have the main inter ts that is required for your platform these are the environments and these are the platform right <coughs> okay next we are moving to the app which is the main one then we have a components then we have a dashboard then we have a sign in then we have a sign up in sign in we have a sign in component <coughs> where we have mentioning out that is forgot password and the another one is firebase so here we have a button wrapper with the you can see that Google service auth right this is a button when click on auth service Google so let's check the auth service dot Google button so here we have a signing component dot TS we have a auth service so we have it is the shared services or dot services right so here we have the service function where we have tried to log in with Google let's check the auth login this is sign up this is signed not forget password auth log google auth if you go and check this functionality in your html we have checked this one right so here we have this is auth service google auth the function is sign in components oh, sorry we, again we have to go with this one then we have uh, this one okay you done return this dot auth login new auth this google auth provider so here we have mentioning the Google Auth provider, right? <coughs> so you need to pass the Google Auth provider here, Google Auth provider. So this is the this is basically the package, right? So new Auth Google Auth provider. Then response any this dot router dot navigate. If it is properly logged in, then it will redirect your the dashboard. Okay, easy. And here we have a this dot Auth login okay so here we have the auth login right the function the provider any currently the provider is any here you can write the twitter github we all are going to do that part right whether it's to log in with google whether it's to log in with the twitter github facebook all things we are going to done in the coming videos so be with us okay so here we have the auth login right we have a sending the provider we, you can send a provider currently anyone so return this auth sign in with pop-up provider you are passing the provider then result navigation set the user data we are setting that the result dot user otherwise we are coming with the alert whatever error we have right so this set dot user data we have the user <coughs> okay angular firestore document any so we are getting the data from the users that the uid email display name photo profile email verified and return it okay so this is the way that we are sending the data and retrieving the data and showing the data into your dashboard right this is how we are able to log in with the google in the firebase 
with the help of the angular any doubt any query in that just let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day